Watch you guys, got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's been heavily requested by my YouTube members, and as you can see, like all other rogues, is doing a fake scan of my system and saying that I'm heavily infected with all these particular types of infections. Now these are all fake, and what they're trying to do is lure you to this site here to purchase their product, which will then remove them. They're not on your system, so don't ever fall for this type of scam. It is a a worldwide scam that's actually making these people a lot of money as you can see here they're trying to con you out of six months of uh, sixty dollars or one year for eighty dollars or a lifetime for a hundred dollars um, but don't pay for it okay I'll show you how to remove it now if you want to use the serial key you can this is the registration code that you can use it's a simple one and uh, basically you put that in there and it should register the product, the product and you can then run scans on your desktop okay it doesn't remove the actual program it will just allow you to download and run uh, programs on your desktop if that doesn't work don't worry about it I'll show you uh, a way of getting rid of it anyway so we're gonna go back to our desktop here cancel this and as you can see like all other rogues it basically looks pretty convincing uh, but it is a, a scam and it just blocks things and you try to get on the internet and it will block that also uh, you'll normally get a page here like this which pops up you won't be then able to use the internet but I'll show you a way around it let me before we do that let me just show you where this actually lives this actual rogue on the system we're going to go into computer here C drive users and then the account that's infected now you will need to show hidden files and folders and drives here so we're just going to do that right now pretty straightforward stuff and we're going to go into app data now which is now become visible and then local and then temp and inside there you will see the culprit this is the one that's doing all the uh, damage here and we'll get rid of this now there's hundreds of different ways of removing this the safest way is to remove it uh, in safe mobile networking and the instructions should be on the screen right now okay but we're going to remove this from our desktop just for a change and I'm going to go to the web page here and I'm going to type in an address to download a file now I did say that you can't uh, download anything but you can uh, in the background it will allow you to download a direct link from somewhere okay so let me uh, start typing this up so we're going to type here download.bleeping computer dot com forward slash grinler forward slash rkill dot com like so push enter and you should get your file coming down now if you don't see that you have to click on the keep browsing internet pages unprotected and this file will then come down we'll save this file and we're going to save it on our desktop now that's done we can close this browser off they need this uh, background traffic going on with this browser so they can get payment from you that's how this allows you to download stuff so now we've got our actual uh, R kill here we can then run this and it will kill this process which will then allow us to run malware bytes which I've already got on the system but if you haven't got it you'll have to download it so we're going to try and run this it's blocked that it won't let me run it so we're just going to rename this and we're going to do dot exe change this and then I'm going to run this and this time it should go through there you go and it's now killed that off as you can see it's found that file in the actual uh, temp location here as you can see on the screen it's now sorted that out click OK it will give you a, a readout of what's happening on the system it's terminated those so what we're going to do here just gonna have a quick look inside here 
so you can see the file now it will allow us to delete this file if we wish by hand if we want to do that and that's now gone because it's terminated the process but just to be so sure we're going to actually uh, run Malwarebytes now you can download this for free off the internet um, I will put all the links for these uh, downloads in the description of this video we always need to do an update and we want to run a quick scan on the system so that's pretty much the scan over and as you can see the system is clean now if you have got other infections on the system you will need to run other scans with Hitman Pro uh, ESET online scanner and other tools like that you can watch some of my other videos to help you remove some of those from the system but I think that's going to be about it for this one. This one's done. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you find this video helpful, then hit the like button, guys, if it really did help you out. That really does help me. And also, if you uh, want to hit the subscribe button, that will keep you up to date for any uh, videos when I upload them. So I think that's it for now. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.